What's up guys? This is the Roveman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Kingdom of Mysore. So to pick up where we left off, we have a large uh, Maratha force right in front of us and we need to destroy them as efficiently as possible. We need to mow down their Bajir infantry and also cut down their camels. Well, I'm, but because I've got my own large contingent of mobile troops, I want to try and use them as decoys and draw them into my pikes. We do have some reinforcements. Um, but mostly, probably not going to be super duper useful for now, but for follow-up battles they may be quite valuable. But yes, let's first destroy this force under Chirag Vergesana, and hopefully cause a mass rout. Because <laughs> what we really need to do is to uh, use our skirmish cavalry to chase and destroy their units as they flee the battlefield. Because the, the Marathas and the Mughals later on are just going to keep churning out so many units and we can't afford to just beat them and push them back. We need to destroy them. We need to obliterate them. We need to make them not worth having. Uh, okay. Okay, so we're going to put our Hindu Musketeers, which are pretty bad as far as infantry goes. Uh, they could be our front line. Their job is to hold. Put a unit of guns behind the line. Let's create some mobile elements on both flanks with pikes. So we're going to want to play this a bit cool. So then let's put a unit of dervishes towards the middle of my Hindu Musketeer line. Let's group them together to make sure I know I've picked them. And then the remainder of my dervishes actually want to go wide on the flanks. Have I not deployed a musketeer unit I have. Okay, so that okay, let's split my dervishes up then. I thought that musketeer unit was a dervish unit. But it was not. Um okay. Generally that's okay. Maybe put my musketeers somewhere here. Maybe fire it will off. So let's put my Mobile element out wide. With my dervishes and pikes particularly on the flank to counter charge. She might quickly close my blinds. There we go. That's a bit better at least. Okay. So then let's put our Pikemen and Dervishes up front as well. It looks like we're going to get a more business on the right flank. Let's get this Musketeer unit into square formation. Where's my Dervishes? Well, my Camels can counter charge the Pindari Horsemen. Dervishes also join them. Get my Pikes up to attack the Camel Nomads. Too bad they fell before we could do too much damage. Let's position my pikes as a blocking force. Something similar is happening on the left flank, so let's draw my cavalry back. Bring up my pikes and melee troops. So chewing through their camel nomads on that flank. Charge my dervishes in. You guys can get out of square formation. Get back to your line. Withdraw my infantry, withdraw my camels, because we're about to see another infantry charge. Although, let's commit my cavalry on the right flank. Push my pikes forward. Camels attack the camels. You guys attack those guys. You guys hold back. Cavalry, stay where you are. Just keep firing. Yeah, my caval cavalry have hit the dervishes. That's not quite ideal. Commit my camels to fight them. This, this fight is going to go very much our way. 
because my pikemen are going to mow down most of their mounted troops. My cavalry are going to break the dervishes. My centre's still doing just fine. start to commit. Actually get my pikes to go after those camel nomads. What I want to be real careful of is I want to take a unit of horsemen to attack them, get my camels in, get another unit of cavalry to abandon this mess. You guys carry on to attack them, you guys push in to attack the camel gunners. Go after their infantry first and foremost. General's bodyguard back there might cause some problems. My pikemen will deal with them. So, yeah, so my camels go after the Hindu musketeers. Okay, you men form up, fire it built off. Dervishes push on into the Hindu Musketeers. So you keep mowing down that Dervish unit there. Where's my other cavalry? I want to make sure they are committed into the fight. Because we do want to do as much damage as possible. It looks like we're going to get it as well. We do have a couple of units holding firm in the center, so let's redirect my line like so. Fire it will back on. Hamels pursue that unit of dervishes. Get my pikemen out here. Horsemen keep pursuing Hindu musketeers. Pikemen and dervishes run out wide. I want to try and knock out this dervish unit, then avoid conflict with the camels. There's only two dervishes to wipe out, then we'll go head towards our main force. You guys keep attacking them, you guys keep attacking them. Okay, may as well try go for the general with my camels, considering like, he's right there. Bring my cavalry back to the centre to carry on fighting. Well, probably, actually, to position to engage the troops in the centre. Pikes and dervishes go after the camel gunners. They're probably going to give us a bit of... Make us run around a little bit. Okay, you've got the generals. There's no worries there. You go after those guys. You guys deploy against the Hindu musketeers there. There we go. We've made in we've made contact with the camels on the flank. Okay, sweet. The pikemen have just called up to another bunch of infantry there. Just keep on re-attacking. We want to try and annihilate units. That unit's probably going to escape. It's a pretty knackered unit of dervishes. Probably. If you guys can knock out that last dervish. Good. You guys can probably knock out the last Hindu musketeer unit. Yep. There go the camel gunners. They're shattered down to 17 camels. Damn right, we're going to continue. Nope. Keep on attacking. Don't let them get away. You're going to escape, sadly. Go knock out this Bargier infantry unit. You guys are busy. Well, not busy. Get the pikemen out of the way. 
can probably afford to speed up time because there's not a huge amount happening and the edge of the map is only isn't very far away at all so these units are probably going to route fairly well the unit's going to flee as is this unit which isn't as damaged as I would like it to be oh okay so we're actually still everyone attack this last Bajir infantry unit the 5th Dakili. Ooh, stop my guns from firing. Yeah, look at all these mounted troops. Sorry, chaps. Whoops, your day is done. Mysore is the true Indian power. Let's mow them down. Awesome. One last poor fellow in the centre. Excellent, so that's a really, really good win. He lost a thousand men, they lost four thousand men. Perfect, and our forces are fairly, in fairly good shape. So back you chaps, Scuttle. Again, there's still, a plen there's still plenty of armies to, to fight there. Ooh, ugh. Let's, let's mix things up a bit. Haha, <laughs> you guys suck. Mysore for the win. Bit of a gamble there, but in the grand scheme it should be okay. Uh, but this turn our barracks in Mysore should be done. So now we should be able to build Kizil Bashi Musketeers. And based on some research I've been doing, there's actually something quite staggering about Kizil Bashi that make them critical. So you've assassinated one of the enemy armies. But in Mysore, <clears throat> so compare a Hindu Musketeer unit, 20 accuracy, 20 skill, 20 reloading skill, 15 ammunition, 9875 melee stats. Kizilbashi, flat upgrade across the board. 10 accuracy more. It got a bit less re reloading skill, but that's not huge. That's not that's not massive. But the main thing is the melee stats are better. 10, 10, 11, 6. So they're just better. Almost in every way than Hindu Musketeers. But there's another number on here. Upkeep. 250 gold per turn to upkeep unit of Hindu Musketeers. Kizilbashi, inexplicably, 130. So I can nearly support twice as many Kizilbashi Musketeer units as I can Hindu Musketeer units for something that's, okay, not across the board an upgrade, but it's pretty damn close. So I'm going to want to start to churn out as many Kizilbashi Musketeers per turn as I can. As well as combining. I mean, this only really works as long as I can. As long as I do stuff like this, where I take the low, the, take my smallest musketeer unit, which actually isn't very small, two hundred seven. I oh, know that's dervishes on a goon, three hundred thirteen. Because we're going to be starting to phase out Hindu musketeers, just use them as a a cheap way to increase combat mass because we're about to get another there's another full strength unit of horsemen let's just max them out pull the weak horseman unit out push a fresh one in press, press a fresh, fresh gun team in you chaps combine 375 gun team that's an interesting bug 375 men gun team more guns Actually, I should probably take out four, five. Uh, two guns is probably okay for a balance. You guys can add another gun team. We've got this force here that's intact. It's completely intact, actually. So you men may break the siege of Hyderabad you men may take the city of Hyderabad let's get this Hindi musketeer unit from our cot up to Mr. Kodali let's do a bit of consolidation here because some of his units are quite weak it's probably as far as we're going to go let's max combine those units together let's take this force here and advance them up towards Satara. 
I'm about to get four fresh units of Kizobashi units, which can do fire by rank in five turns once that's done. Um, but let's take this force. I'm going to fight it because I want to try and minimize damage to this army, if at all possible. We can take this fort. We can take this um, city with a minute well, with as, as few casualties as possible, and then we can hand it over to the small force to garrison it. Yeah, I've only got one gun, but ultimately it's not going to be that kind of fight. We're just going to assault because they don't have many units, they can't cover absolutely everything. They've got a mortar unit which is going to do some damage, but we need to just, we need to just, to just take the city quickly. Just push everyone up. I mean, theoretically speaking, that's probably quite a good position for a gun, because you can fire into the enemy center. Yeah, the overall strategy is to just overwhelm from so many directions that they can't actually provide a good uh, counter-strike. So you men go over here, you guys get over here. Native warrior auxiliary plus a Hindu musketeer attack the populace. Scale the wall. Scale the wall. Scale the wall. Scale the wall. Yeah, we're going to scale the wall. Well, actually, my dervish is just going to run through the gate. If the gates are going to be open. <laughs> soon, there we go. Soon as they realise that's what we want to do. There we go. Native warrior auxiliary. We're going to clear out the firelock arm populace. Not without some cost. And ultimately, because they're outside of the walls, what they're going to see is they're probably going to break faster than they would if they were fighting inside the walls. Although they're kind of inside. So they might actually last for a long time. Yeah, there we go. These guys are... They're wavering pretty bad. We take this central... ...position. So you guys run over there and secure that gatehouse. Charge my dervishes in. There we go. Native warrior auxiliary. Charge in. You guys charge in. You guys charge in. Get my camels in. There you go. So the lancers have been unable to charge. The Lancers haven't charged, their mortars are now in combat. The Hindu warriors are attempting to cut off our advance into the town, but they don't have enough mass. Come on, charge in. Charge my camels into the lancers. Gatehouse is ours. All of you guys just rush in. Now the mortars aren't engaged in fighting. Swarm, swarm, swarm. Now the mortar garrison are wavering. 
The Lancers might have done some good damage, but now my camels are in. They're going to cause them upset because my camels do have... That scares horses is pretty darn handy. And against light cavalry, camels are pretty effective. There you go. Other camels are in. Dervishes charge into the rear of the 101st. Look at they're broken. Everyone's broken. Good. So we have lost men, but not a ludicrous amount. Actually, the, the bulk of the losses are on the native warrior auxiliary. I didn't want to demand the surrender because I didn't want to give any garrison units the ability to withdraw. So let's repair the mansion because this force is going to leave the city. Yeah, they're going to complain for a turn. Might actually ex exempt them from tax for a turn to let these guys march in first. You guys do what punishment you can. Next turn, we're going to sh send a bunch more troops from Mysore up towards Satara. And I want these guys striking west, really, to provide backup. Yeah, there are Mysore troops, and potentially the anything we recruit in our cart might be sent to Hyderabad to bolster the garrison. Okay. So next turn we're up for two and a half thousand because the Marathas are blocking our, blockading our port. Two more turns till we get the school built, which would be good news. Yeah, I want to take Satara, which is going to be it's going to be difficult to, to bring them into the fold, but I want to build a madrasa to start converting the population to make them just a bit less PO'd that we are Islamic rather than Hindu or Buddhist. I think is the other religion. In Empire Total War? Obviously not in, not in the world. But yeah, if we can maintain a competitive fight against the Indian factions till we get fire by rank until we and until we can get more um, Kizilbashi musketeers into the fight, then we're going to be in pretty good shape to push forward and kick the Mughals out of southern India where we can then stop, build up a bit of our navy, and, uh, of, yeah, so things like that are going to happen. And I'm going to decline to attack. I want them to keep moving. So we might be getting a bit surrounded here, but we do get this this force to the south, but that's quite a good fight, actually, because it doesn't bring in. And it, it looks like it... So it's bringing in... I'm not sure. I think these guys are this force here. And that means you guys are probably the garrison. But let's do it. And let's make sure that the musketeers are in the fight first, as far as reinforcements are concerned. And we can knock out this force fairly easy. It's mostly just a cavalry force that can be chewed up by my pikes. But this will be quite good. Hopefully this does enough damage that my force to the east near Hyderabad can strike west and take the city in fairly short order. That would be quite a good win, I think. But first of all, we have to win here. I'm going to keep my guns behind the line. Not Maybe off to the side, because they might come in behind us. So let's put three units of musketeers up front. with a pikeman and a dervish unit on the flank. That leaves two Hindu musketeers, plus most of our melee troops, plus... Okay, let's maybe keep two of these cavalry on each flank, plus two cavalry reserve, plus my general. Okay, so they are a bit behind us. So you men anchor against that building there. You guys pivot towards the enemy, because I want to lure them in. 
as far as the although that's is that where most they're rein oh, that's where the proper reinforcements are coming in from okay in which case you guys don't go mad put some units re to reinforce actually put my pikes to re to hold the town These dervishes can hold the right flank. Got a horseman unit ready to move. Although they might actually stay behind the line. As my guns are unlimbered. Get them to both engage the camel unit on the right. Get the pikemen to run. Ten camels shot out of the saddle. They're charging. Form square across the board. Get my melee infantry here ready. Get my dervishes in to counter charge. They were charging, but they've stopped. Get my musketeers to attack the horsemen. Those guys have retreated. So my... These Kizilbashi here are firing at the camel nomads. That's the end of them as well. You guys get back to being in formation. New men withdraw. Guns engage the enemy mass that's coming in at range. Get my cavalry back here rapidly. So there goes unit of horsemen. They're sending a unit of lancers. Those chaps are going to run into serious difficulties. Fortunately, these guys are... They're procrastinating a bit. My pikemen are a bit isolated back here. Let's bring them back. Gunners focus on the Pindari horsemen at close range. Another unit of camel nomads coming in. Again, charging the glorious charge on their lips. You guys form square, I missed that. Advance my pikes up. If we need to, I can withdraw to this hill when the main mass of enemy troops arrive. men form up, bring back the horsemen. I'm probably going to have to scoot back to the high ground. I'm going to want to utilise my advantage in artillery fire. I'm probably, I can afford to free up an extra unit. So let's withdraw. Some of these units. We could go for an end around and attack their guns. Useful from both directions, but to be honest, it looks like these guys don't really want to attack. They're being a bit too defensive. Yeah, my camels in first, take the charge. Then send my pike in to clear up 
the matter on the ground, retarget my guns against the near the near threat. So I want to wipe out these camels to prevent them from being so it secures my right flank. Okay, good. Unit of Hindu musketeers pushing. If we need to, we can flank and destroy them with my cavalry. Unit of Islamic swordsmen advancing, which is scary. Dervishes get behind the line. But if they advance any closer, my some of our horsemen can engage. Once they finish bringing in reinforcements, I can then go and try and attack their guns. There go the horsemen. The canister shot, the infantry, and the dervishes. Already routed. They likely will not stay routed. Let's advance some cavalry to chew up and destroy this unit of Hindu musketeers. Okay, I think those troops have come back, so let's quickly retarget. You go ceasefire. You men both attack Hindu musketeers. There go the pikes again. They've just, that unit of swordsmen has just drifted within canister range. They're shattered. Withdraw my mounted force. Push cavalry out to the right flank. Camel gunners. Push forward some melee infantry. New chaps fire at will. Both folks on that pike unit. Again, these units are. They do want to come back, they don't want to leave permanently. More troops coming in as reinforcement. Engage the camel gunners with musket fire. We're also engaging them with bow fire, which if we kill, we want to keep pushing, although there's still lots of camels back there. My camels and my cavalry to charge them. Okay, let's go back to my battle line. You men hit pikemen, you men hit the Bajir infantry. So again, we've made the right call by falling back to the hill to use our advantage in artillery. You men both hit the armed peasantry. I want to try and use my light cavalry here to chase camel gunners and to hopefully shatter them. If they come back we're going to have to about face pretty rapidly. You guys cease fire, you men keep attacking the duck heel here. You guys pound the troops coming in, let's bring another two cavalry units over to this flank. This charge hasn't really worked. If they keep advancing... Oh, actually, they are coming to try and stop us. Push up our melee infantry wing. Pull my cavalry back. 
Ooh, actually, okay. Try route the armed peasantry. Hit the camel nomads, they're already wavering. Okay, those camel nomads are broken. Okay, right, we can... It's a lot of camels. Oh, okay, right, they've pushed up a unit of Bajir infantry onto our flank. Push up some dervishes to try and deal with them. The actual front of our position is pretty solid. It's just everywhere else that's the problem. Okay, good. You men withdraw. Okay, those are camel gunners. But we have a space now to attack their artillery that's to the rear. You guys canister shot the Bajir infantry. You guys round shot the unit of Bajir infantry. Dervishes charge the Bajir infantry there. You guys have to come back, despite, despite my immediate redeployment, although... So that's peasantry. My cavalry go for their cannons. There go the Bajir infantry, you guys fall back, push up my horsemen. Camel nomads should asterisk go down. Because they're fighting a lot of melee infantry. So that's one gun team gone. Try break the cannons if possible without before you run yourselves. Okay, the guns are wavering. Run away, cavalry. Camels can't pursue you. So my bow fires routed the armed peasantry. You men form square. Dervishes counter charge the camel gunners. You guys. Uh, don't charge the Bajir infantry, just let my guns pound them. And also advance up my own melee troops. Plus. Okay, this unit's made it back alive. There we go. So that's one gun unit shattered and destroyed. Go and chase down this gun team because we will be able to kill them. There go that unit of camel gunners. You men pursue the Hindu musketeers. men charge the Bajir infantry and that soon once these Hindu musketeers have gone uh, no not quite use my horsemen to chase down the camel gunners to hopefully make them rout you guys hold back Maybe charge the Hindu Musketeers, because this is quite a, slit a little uh, force, actually, in the grand scheme of things. They're shattered. Withdraw my skirmish cavalry. Horsemen are going to charge in. Good. So that's you've we've routed the enemy infantry here. You guys are still pursuing the enemy. The guns switch to round shot and attack. Camel gunners. It's tempting to chase down. It's tempting to chase down those soldiers. Really, we want to pull. Yeah, 
it's Camel Nomad's relative, fair enough. Let's try to keep things loose, like so. Just a second, everyone. Camel Gunners are wavering. Send my skirmish cavalry forward. You men halt. You will then put a, a sort of a volley into the Camel Gunners. You men form into a little square. My cavalry smash into those dervishes. Hey, who are you? No, run away from the Islamic swordsmen. There we go. Then let's try smash into the dervishes because they're already shaken. We haven't even hit them yet, but we've hit them with bow fire. Very well. Break off one infantry unit to attack a Hindu musketeer unit. One cavalry unit to attack Hindu musketeer unit. My guns can shoot the Islamic swordsmen at range. There you go. Let's speed up time a little bit because actually, let's get two to attack the Hindu musketeers because they're spread out. These dervishes are not. Well, they soon will be, but we're cutting through them at a rate of knots. Yeah, let's mass our melee troops to get ready to chase down the Islamic Swordsmen. To be honest, we could probably just counter charge them, and that would be the end of that. But in the grand scheme of things, I want to play it a little bit safer, draw them a bit closer to my line. One guy out here that might successfully allow this unit of dervishes to rout. We may have to chase down and destroy that gun unit, which if we do, we do. Damn right, we're going to continue. Well, no. Actually, you guys have not elected to carry on firing. Okay, there we go. For the most part, the battle is over. Yeah, those chaps have been killed, so now we can try and do some damage to these Islamic swordsmen. I mean, we will do some damage, but whether or not we'll kill them, I don't think we will. Camels don't have the mobility, and they've now changed direction to the best direction to successfully flee. Although they've moved away from it now. Now they've, they've run away from the border. Enough time for my cavalry to be brought to bear. They're still going to flee, but they lost an extra 70 men from that little diversion. Excellent. So that is a big loss for the Marathas. Yeah, that's 3,000 troops. That's a significant portion. Oof. So, a force from the west. Aha, so the Mughals are on the move. As we expected, really. We need, probably need to hold a bit of a desperate defence. In theory, I could probably move my stack that's near Hyderabad east to hold Hyderabad. But I want to do an old switcheroo. I want to take my force that's currently weaker... Yes, yeah, so you guys get in there. Don't replenish because you're actually to be honest, I may as well combine these troops. So you guys are you don't have the strength to hit Satara. Well then again, we aren't actually we could probably stand to just combine okay, we've got some spare Hindu musketeers, so let's combine our 
Hindu musketeers together. Because we know it saves us money in the long term. Your Majesty. Combine, combine, combine. That's it. That's as many. That's as far as it. That's as many as we can combine. 118 dervishes can combine. Okay. Yeah. Because we do have new men advance to meet them. My Kizil Bashi can advance to hit you guys, and then collectively, yeah, that's just the remnants, just annihilate them, or send them north, that's the same thing. So, my reinforcements push to such and such. You guys can't hit Satara, but you can ping pong down to here, knock out them, have a loss of 600 troops, but none decisively lost. You can replenish and advance towards Ahmadnagar. You guys... Still a lot to replenish. Let's combine our pike units together. Again, let's just generally combine units together. A small force isn't the end of the world, because we do have reinforcements moving up. You men can reinforce, you men can reinforce. And I probably want to actually keep the recruitment high. So let's maybe combine units like you guys up first. This Hindu Musketeer unit can move up to Hyderabad. Okay, so once we've done a bit of replenishment, we, well, do we put them under siege? Potentially, but it might be a bit of a dodgy battle to... No, we better next turn when I've got these troops moved up. Let's stop exempting you from tax. Now you can help pay for the defence of your own city, Hyderabad. Okay, let's move... Move this sloop up to start to raid ports. To see if we can draw out this fleet to try and attack. So when this sloop gets pushed out of the port, it'll be the Marathas' turn. So the hope is I can then, this, this fleet will move north to try and kill them. At least that's the hope. Four more turns till we get five by rank. The university is getting upgraded next turn. Let's hit end turn. Yeah, in general, we've got to keep, just keep churning out Kizilbashi Musketeers. Because they're in, oh, I don't like that Spanish stack. Yeah, we need to keep churning out Kizilbashi Musketeers rather than repair, rather than bu buying more Hindu Musketeers, apart from in the areas where we have no choice. So, for example, Arcot. I need more troops, I need mass, so I'm going to b keep building... Hindu Musketeers, but I'm not going to replenish them at the front line, I'm just going to merge them together. Because it doesn't make sense when we can have a... It doesn't make sense when we could... It doesn't make sense if we can have almost twice as many... If we can have more than tw nearly twice as many Kizilbashi Musketeers as Hindu Musketeers, or another way to think about it is you can have a Kizilbashi Musketeer unit plus support some other troops. So, yes! You suckers, I played you like a fiddle. Uh, see what my sloop can do. It didn't do anything and it got captured. So it made, their, it made their navy a bit longer, but... Oh, you fools. They've taken their main force and marched it away from their capital. So next turn I'm going to attack Ahmadnagar and Satara. That main force is going to be wiped out. We're going to fight this manually to make sure I don't lose a load of troops to a stupid auto-resolve problem. Because we all know what the auto-resolve is like. It can get a bit messy. So let's go 
Go to the high ground where we've previously fought over. Deploy our troops into the battle line. Our musketeers into the battle line, I should say. My mounted elements are going to remain defensive. Chiefly because we only really want to... See, if they had that large army here, this would be dangerous. But they don't. So all of you guys aim at the camel gunners. The infantry themselves will get destroyed and consumed by our other units. My general's a bit exposed. I mean, you guys attacked me, so I wouldn't expect me to move. Okay, there we go. So let's get my infantry out wide, my cavalry out wide. Ah, the camels did rout, and I'm hoping if I can keep bombarding them at range, we will eventually get the camel gunners to rout. And then when the Bajir infantry come into the mix and the Islamic swordsmen come into the mix, we can deplete them with gunfire and then proceed to chase them down and destroy them. So yeah, I really want the camel gunners to rout. It'd be even better if they shattered, which they have, which is perfect. We could potentially chase them down, but chasing down camels is frustrating. So let's let their infantry advance towards our line. Well, it appears like they don't want to. No, well, they're just going to redeploy. Fair enough. Let my guns carry on attacking you, because they will then gain... Is it firepower and accuracy they gain? Well, these are two different units. I can't even compare. I mean, you guys have... you guys attack me, so... I wouldn't expect me to come at you guys. But yeah, this would, this would be nice. It would be two good units to wipe out. It looks like they can't really make up their mind. They don't want to attack. Let's push my line up a bit in front of my guns. So we can't use canister shot, but I don't think it's going to matter. Commit my cavalry. There they go. Yes, we're going to continue. We might not even be able to kill them all, because if they run through the town, actually killing units will be frustrating, because they'll be catching on buildings and spreading out quite well. Even so, as much damage as we can do is still a good result for us. You devils. See, there goes there. It's not their general, it's their captain, if you like. Can you men knock out the Islamic swordsmen? Yeah, they've been taken out. Everyone against the Baja infantry. Yeah, some are over here and some are over here, so they're probably going to escape. You can be a bit more mandrolic with how you do things. So like, for example, I could try this. If I run through... Ah, they escaped anyway. Even so, that was a good... a good win. We lost eight men, they lost their... almost their entire force. Okay, yeah, so that... they immediately had to about-face. A mad Nagar they've, they've sold to Portugal. Portugal must have made him a real good offer. Because fundamentally, we can push for Satara and we can take it. And then hold it. Get rid of the Maratha presence. Then we can carry on with our, with our um, expansion against the Mughals in the east. So that, po that Portuguese front 
pretty much provides a great big breakwater that we don't have to worry about now. The front with the Mughals is very small, relatively. Sure, we will fight Portugal, and at some point Portugal will be attacked by Spain anyway, and the region will fall to pirate control. Um, but yes, yeah, so now these, these forces down here don't matter, because I can use you guys, combined with you guys, which I'm going to do. Can't really combine. Okay, so you guys get up there and bolster that front. Wait a minute. Okay, so we've got no income, which means we have to fight and capture Satara. Those infantry do make it. Those guns don't make it, but the infantry and the cavalry do. So if we move you guys up to him, and if we move the... Well, if we try and combine as much infantry as we can together. So we need to make up, well, realistically it's three slots. It's because a Bashi unit can go secure the port. The guns secure Goa. Good, they don't get any good reinforcements in either. Question is, do I... I think I probably support the attack. Let's combine troops together here as well. Again, it's more to do with the ultimate recruit recruitment burden. Let's support the attack, because this 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 win, this ca the capture of Satara, has to happen. It just does, because it will get rid of this fleet. And then we can start trading again. And like I said, the Portuguese, that means that we have to focus on pushing through towards Nagpur and Katak. So I can probably then start to merge, send troops over towards our cart. Yeah, we're going to take Mr. Pangamut. Mr. Pangamanamula. Panga? This guy, my excellent general, who's such a good general, he's going to attack. This unit of 37 Hindu musketeers is probably going to rout, so we will then likely take... You want to command the attack. This unit's going to withdraw. I could move it, but I don't want to get intercepted. So I'm going to take my Hindu, musket my Hindu warrior and move them up so they're first in. I probably want mostly melee troops to back up my attack but looking at the timer i believe it's time to end the episode so thanks for watching guys hope you've enjoyed and we'll see you next time for the capture of satara and hopefully um, unless i've missed something the destruction of the maratha maratha confederacy cheers everyone